Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Hey, Wednesday's my favorite day of the week. The reason for that is because tonight, tonight, tonight's the night. We have our fellowship tonight. And uh, we are going to have ham and scalped potatoes and vegetable sauce of the apple and a dessert of some kind which we will take care of today some people bring desserts all the time so we're gonna have a good time tonight and we're gonna talk about the blessing the blessing so if you get a chance sometime and it's gonna be it's gonna be on Periscope here so you will have an opportunity. We teach right out of this book on Wednesday night. So get a copy of this book. You can go to Amazon and get it. It's absolutely a life-changing book. Hey, this morning, I want to talk to you about how to remove obstacles blocking your blessing. Obstacles. What is an obstacle? Now you say, well, Pastor Jim, is, is that scriptural? Well, yes. Jesus said in Mark 11, 23, the verse, the, one of the two verses that Brother Hagen taught on for 65 years. And at some point, somebody asked him one time, they said, Brother Hagen, could you teach on something else just this time? And he kind of looked at him and he said, well, when you get a hold of this, we'll move on. I've been, I've been, on these verses for decades. I'm not sure I got a hold of them yet. I would I would give anything to 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 sit and listen right now to Brother Hagen teach on these verses some more. I guarantee you I'd get I'd get more out of it. Boy, you can do that by reading his books. Go to Faith Library or or get on the Rama website and get some of Brother Hagen's books. He teaches I'm just Every time I, I read back through those books, I get more out of those verses. Those two verses. Amen? Of course, he taught other things too, but, but the emphasis was on those verses. Well, Jesus said, now this is the words of Jesus. He said in, in Mark eleven twenty three, 23, he says, uh, Truly I say unto you, if you shall speak unto this mountain, and say, be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that what you say shall come to pass, you shall have what you say. The mountain Jesus is talking about is not, little, you know, the first time I read that, I went, what? Yeah, I mean, I'm saved two weeks, okay, and I'm reading this, and I go, we can actually move a mountain? But then, you know, I realized he's not talking about Pike's Peak. He's not talking about Pike's Peak. He's talking about problems. He's talking about obstacles. You know, when, when I use the word obstacle, that's interchangeable for problem. The word obstacle and problem really are one and the same. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm moving into an area right now, as far as the blessing goes, in our blessing school classes, where we're going to talk a lot about obstacles. A lot about obstacles. Because here's the, here's the thing. Once you remove the obstacles, everything changes. Everything changes once you remove the obstacles. Huh? A door is an obstacle. There's the door. See the door? That door goes to the outside. Where that comes into focus, that's the outside. Now I can look out that window, but I can't get out that window I open the door. That door 
is an obstacle preventing me from going outside. It's an obstacle preventing people from getting in at night. I lock it. We lock the doors. I lock the patio doors that lead out to the uh, to the to the porch and to the pool. I lock the doors. Doors are obstacles. Well, problems are obstacles. When somebody comes into our church, or somebody decides to become a partner with this ministry, and they're having problems in their life, I don't deal with them. So, well, you got to change your life. That's what people do. People talk about making changes and and, and so many of these motivational speakers, of which I am one, will talk about the change is from within. That, that, that you have power, the power is within you, that you have this power and you have to unleash this power. No, you ain't unleashing nothing until you get rid of the obstacles. You are going down the road. Everybody's on a path. That's why, you know, in, in, in the Bible it says that God's word will light our path. Thy word is a light unto my path, is how it reads. That's how the song goes. Amy Grant sings that beautiful song. Thy word is a light unto my path. God's word will light your path. But your path or your road, in many cases, can have obstacles on it. Now, these obstacles can be spiritual or they can be natural. Or there can be a combination of spiritual and natural obstacles on your road. And I mean, they can block your success. They can block you from achieving goals. They can block you from becoming what you want to become, from having what you want to have. There's obstacles there, walls. And you have to, you know, you, you can't get over them. You can't get around them. You can't get under them. You can't get through them. You have to remove them. You have to remove them. In many cases, in many cases, Jesus said, and, and I just showed you that, but I want you to see this. I want you to see this. With these, these obstacles, here in Mark 11, I mean, you know, God is so good and God is so wonderful. He has literally covered every base. God hasn't missed anything. Everything you need is right here. Now look at this. For verily or truly I say unto you, for truly I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that what he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. You see how marked up my Bible is. I, I write in my Bible. The Lord is talking about how to remove obstacles. How to remove obstacles. Obstacles are, are, are not something... People slam into obstacles all the time. There's all kinds of obstacles. All kinds of obstacles in people's lives. Most obstacles can be spoken to. Most obstacles can be spoken to. How would Jesus, and you've got to ask yourself this, how would Jesus deal with an obstacle in his life? How would he deal with that? <clears throat> well, let's talk about some obstacle. 
Jesus had a debt. He owed a bill. He owed money for his taxes. Everybody in those days had to pay taxes. That was a debt. So Peter said, how are we going to pay our taxes? Apparently their funds were low at that time. I don't know. But Jesus said, go down to the water, throw a line in. First fish that you pull out will have a gold coin in his mouth. Take that, pay my taxes and yours too. How did he deal with the obstacle of debt? With extreme faith. <laughs> That's how he dealt with it. Now, could you do that? You could if you had enough faith. See, the Lord, the Lord Jesus, had perfect faith in every area. That's something that we can only aspire to. We, we, that's our model. That's our model. That's what we're, we're, we're trying to get as close to that as we can. You know, it tells us in, uh, uh, what is it? He, or, uh, Romans chapter 12. It says, be ye therefore followers of God. That word follow means imitate. Be imitators of of God. Well, if you imitate God, what does that mean? It means do what he did. If somebody, you know, there's there's preachers out here uh, in the country, some of them are very well known who are imitating me. And they're, they're preaching my stuff. I think it's wonderful. I, Mary and I have literally sat and watched Very, very popular nationwide preachers preaching our material point, 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 point right down the line. And to that, I say, glory to God. I preach their stuff too. Huh? They don't give me any credit for it. They haven't. That's okay. That's okay. They're imitating me. I imitate them. I imitate Kenneth Copeland. I imitate Keith Moore. I imitate Charles Caps. I imitate Brother Hagin a lot. A lot of people imitate him. I imitate Jesus. I imitate him. Now, I don't try to pass myself off as Jesus, but I imitate him. Tells us to. I imitate Jesus by doing what he did. If you want to be successful, find successful people and imitate them. Do what they do. We're going to talk about this as we go on, about removing obstacles, because I'll tell you what, when we deal with the obstacles in your life, your road gets much smoother. Your road gets much easier. Stay with me on this, because I'm telling you what, I'm going to light you up. I am going to light you up. Over a period of time, and all this is free, it's not only here on Periscope where you're watching it, but if you miss it, you can go back and they'll, they'll all be archived in our website, increasenow.com. Hook up with our website, increasenow.com. Become a partner with this ministry. Help us send these messages around the world. Amen. And when you become a partner with this ministry, you have access to me. I am always available to pray with my partners and to help you remove obstacles. Amen. Hey, go out there today and have a great day. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.